If you're often finding yourself skipping or procrastinating your workouts, this video is going to give you some tips to start working on this issue. Hi, my name is Jimena Ramirez. I'm a behavior change coach and I'm the director of coaching and program strategy at Body Brain Alliance. Work on motivation and consistency is a big issue when it comes to behavior change. And this is because working out doesn't require a single action, but more a number of actions taken throughout a period of time. Constantly having to struggle and wrestle with yourself and with the mental drama that comes with having to prep yourself to do a workout, to create motivation to do a workout every single time can be exhausting. This is why we need to develop some tools that can actually help us for that long haul mentality. I'm going to give you four tips here to actually work through creating more consistency with your workouts and reducing procrastination when it comes to working out. Tip number one is make it a habit and not an action. So the difference between a habit and an action is that whenever you're engaging in an action, you actually have to make some decisions and actually go through that process over and over again every time you're taking those actions. When you're engaging in a habit, you have a process in mind. You have a sequence that you follow. These things become more automated to your brain. So that means that your brain is actually creating less decision fatigue and you have less cognitive load when you're making this type of decisions. So think about this, going to work. You're not think thinking every single day, when should I go to work? I'm going to figure it out later. You know, at 9 a.m. I, I start work. So maybe I'll leave the house at 8 a.m. This is what I do in my morning routine and then I get to work. That is why this is a habit. This is something that you're not deciding on every single time you have to take an action. This is more something that you already have a process for in place and requires less cognitive load for your brain. So we are thinking here about turning your workouts into a habit and not an action. How would you know if this is a habit or an action? Well, if you're constantly saying, I will figure out when I'm going to do this later and making decisions around that every single time, Think about how exhausting that can be for your brain. So the solution to this is actually starting to think of this as a habit. For that, we need to come up with a trigger. What is going to tell your brain it's time to work out? Is that going to be when you actually put on your outfit? Is that going to be after you're done with work? Is that going to be after you're having morning coffee? Think about turning this into a habit and help your brain make those decisions easier for yourself. Tip number two is plan for it and offer yourself a pivot point. So the idea here is that you can do your planning for your workout and maybe you have a time in mind, maybe that is 9 a.m. and you are pretty sure that you can actually make that happen then, but then something happens. That is usually where we get stuck. So I'm going to give you this idea of what if we could give ourselves a pivot point. So the thought behind this is maybe you think about doing your workout at 9 a.m. However, you're going to give yourself a time when you're going to check in with yourself to actually see if that habit indeed happened if that actually you wanted to take that day happened. So maybe I'm going to work out at 9 a.m., but my pivot point is at noon. So at noon, I'm going to check in with myself and actually ask myself, did I do my workout? Did some things come up? And this is where we're neutrally going to redirect our effort to making a decision on when that workout is going to happen. We're actually doing that at that time. So for example, my own pivot point for workouts is at noon. I know that usually if I don't do my workout by 2 p.m., it's going to get a bit crazy after I have more things that could be coming up. So my personal pivot point is usually like between noon and 2 p.m. I try to check in with myself. Did my workout actually happen? This is something that we can do again, neutrally, no shame. We don't need to spiral into thoughts that are not helpful. What we want to do is offer ourselves another opportunity to follow through with our planning and with our workout. So give yourself a plan and give yourself a pivot point where you can check in with yourself and either make a decision of when that workout is going to happen if it needs to be postponed to maybe even a different day, or if you're going to do it right on the spot. Number three, decide what counts. This idea is about how we can use this something is better than nothing mindset. What counts as a workout? What options can you give yourself? What is the lowest entry barrier that you can apply here so that even on the craziest days, you can actually make that workout happen? The more flexibility you can give yourself, the more opportunities you are creating to actually do the thing. Tip number four, have a workout plan. This doesn't need to be super strict. It just means that you are going to allow your tired brain to not have to make those decisions. If we go back to what we're discussing regarding cognitive load, regarding decision fatigue, it is not really very reasonable that you ask your brain to not only decide to create motivation for you to do a workout, but also to create motivation to write down or to make decisions around what the workout will be. So even if you don't have a super specific plan for your workouts, that is totally fine. 
we want to make sure that you have some type of structure drafted beforehand so that your tired brain doesn't have to make those decisions. When your tired brain needs to make those decisions and it no longer has those resources to make that happen, this is where you go into all or nothing mindset. So give yourself some options. Think about your week ahead of time. Think about what that might look like. Think about some options for your workouts, how you'd like to apply that and allow yourself to create a little more ease. Make it so that your only job is to show up for that workout. Now, this is a great way to create that kind of flexibility, and that is our ability to pivot. When our brain is going to be really tired, it's going to know exactly what it needs to do. The other thing to consider here is, can we give ourselves different options? And I'm thinking, maybe we are thinking about a best or ideal option. Maybe we're thinking about a good option. Maybe we're thinking about a good enough option. And this is also about including this idea of what counts. So maybe the option A is, I'd love to do a run. However, if that's not possible, then I'm going to do a walk. Or if that is not possible, then the good enough option is going to be, I'm going to do a stretch at home or some yoga workout. If you'd like to see more information about how to create more consistency with your workouts, you can look at our other videos on YouTube. You can go into also our social media, Instagram. We have a lot of posts regarding this. And we also have an amazing subscription service, which is Change Academy, where you can find a library full of resources. And one of those workshops that we have in our Change Academy library is about how to become a frequent exerciser. We'd love to know if you have any comments about your experience in this area, or if there's anything that you'd like to share. If you try these strategies and you find that something worked for you, we would love to hear from you. If you like this video, please hit like or subscribe to our channel so that you can see more of this. I'll see you in the next video.